Just touched down in the 305 Miami. It's been a while since 2015. I teleported pretty much. I woke up in Houston. I just yeah, just kicked into Miami. It's simple. Twins. Are we? Same thing. The handshake's coming later. So what's up, there? We'll fix it. It's almost fight week, so yeah, I feel as I feel. I feel good. And yeah. Go! Go! Today is pretty much UFC at IHP. Three five minute rounds, one minute rest. We're just emulating the fight as best as possible. He did that last week. Today is sort of like the victory lap. Just get it over and done with one more time. Make weight, go get a W. That's a wrap. Three, two, one. I think the reason why Gilbert fits so good here at IHP is it's the same roles that he teaches at home that we teach here, family. When his kids come in here, we talk about everything from Fortnite to video games. We joke around with each other. We always tell the guys, listen, whatever's gonna motivate you, put dead center. And he actually literally does that. He brings the kids in here and it gives them a little extra boost because that's what he fights for. He fights for his family. Take it down, Take it down. Ah. Hey, go, go. Ah. I, love, I love to have my family around or wherever I go. And I think the best way to teach me my kids to don't give up, to, to go hard. I, I, I want to lead by example, so trying to, to do everything on my power to be a better husband, a better father, a better athlete. I believe and I'm confident I'm going to get a win, but I don't think it's going to be easy and I think the fans are going to enjoy because he's a dog and we're going to meet in the middle, we're going to have a bunch of exchange, it's going to be nice, crowd's going to be crazy. It's not going to be a good day to be George Mike Vidal on April 8th. This is a big fight for me, you know. Um, I, took, I took a year off. I needed it, you know. I needed that year off to kind of recoup. Adrian Yanez, uh, this dude is a killer. He's got a lot of momentum on his side. He's on a nine fight win streak. I just hope he doesn't sleep on me. It's going to be a banger. This is, this is a guarantee uh, fight of the night for sure. Nice. You know, we got a young, hungry prospect coming up. He's 5-0 in the UFC, really good boxing. Obviously, he's got good jiu-jitsu and wrestling, too. He hasn't always had to use it. This is what happens. You know, in the UFC, you're the hungry lion coming up, and, and you try to knock off the king, and then you get a number next to your name, and then those new hungry lions come up, and they try to steal your crown. So right now, we're in that position where we have to defend our number. I think I've seen like a, a revitalization of his attitude. I think now he's coming into this fight with that different fresh perspective of like, no, I don't have to do this, I get to do this. I know there's just extra motivation going into it and extra excitement for him and the whole team. Pô, tô no lugar da vitória, Miami. Estou me sentindo muito bem, um voo tranquilo. Já, já lutei, né? Quando eu lutei no Glory, que também são boas lembranças, né? Foi um belo de um nocaute. Foi onde eu lutei no, no meio pesado e, pô, foi um lutão. E é um clima legal, os brasileiros falam muito bem do clima aqui, né? Porque é quente, igual no Brasil, então vou me sentir em casa. Então, com o clima né, de Miami, um clima mais quente, com certeza para mim isso me ajuda, vai ser muito melhor. Bom, eu venho treinando muito, né? Desde quando eu, eu assinei com o UFC, eu venho falando aqui da minha evolução. Sou um cara que treino bastante e aprendo. Eu tenho uma facilidade para aprender, né? Eu me empenho ali nos meus treinos todos os dias. Eu venho me dedicando o máximo e é isso, cara. Eu me tornei campeão, agora que vou fazer minha primeira defesa. É... Quero manter, vou manter esse meu cinturão e vou fazer história. Só que o quarto é, é pequeno. Não, é um apartamento. Boa, vista maneira, hein? Olha 
Ale sú barko. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. <laughs> these are those ones. I've never seen these. Hold up. Yeah, I've been seeing everyone wear these. The, what do you call it? The Astro, Astro Boy. Nah, I'm good, man. It's, it's just, I mean, if you, if you buy it, it's like put on the shelf for me. Like, yeah. They're like, what, seven, eight hundred? Yeah. I don't think I can pull it off, but respect to those who can. In fact, I'm too, t I'm too tall for these. Uh, we're just here at uh, Yankee Kicks launching our collab with Muhammad Ali's team. So um, we've got the fans outside, chilling, waiting to say what's up. My oh, man. Big dog, what's up, my man? How you, sir? Yeah, he's here, what's up, big dog? Oh! No way. Good for Gorilla, straight from. Oh, no, I thought you were him. I was like, no, no way. No, 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 no. Oh, man. I was about to be like, no, yo, Gorilla the Bear? No, man. I, I strapped back before and then. Ready? I'll do this real quick. Right. For three, two, one. Thank you, awesome. Well, this is original. Yo, frame the oh, man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Brother, this time. is a Gorilla the Bear original. Gorilla the Bear original. Trust me, this guy, before I was who I am, before it was, I was in the UFC, he was the first person to be drawing me. So I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I know his style anywhere. I, was, and I thought he was him for a second. Oh. You could have lied. You could be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, let it dry for a little bit. You're so nice. Three, two, one. Bless you, Aliyah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, you got that easy ass. Don't worry. I'll be back in Brazil soon. Take the belt back to Brazil. <laughs> Can you help me spread it? Yeah. There we go. Sick shirt. Sure. Right. <laughs> Take a seat. Yeah. Thanks for your help today, bro. You appreciate that. Thank you, sir. The dog that. Style. I love it, bro. I Keep it up. So yeah. We'll be. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Boom. Nice shirt. Big Venom fan. Auntie. Hello. Mwah. <laughs> I'm very well. I'm just out here with y'all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. He's looking, he's looking after me very well. He's looking after me. Easy as. Mwah. Appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Welcome to Mi Casa. Mi Casa, not your casa. Miami Jack Boys is always watching. But for most of you, I love, you know, y'all that be watching this, you know what I'm saying? It's not to the ones that I don't love, it's just to the Miami Jack Boys. Don't ever make that mistake. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> what do you say, Dan? Smoke him or what? Let him have it? Man, smoke him. Get the out of here. We usually don't like, you know, showing the pieces off and stuff, but you're in my casa, right? In my house. So we'll show you some of the hardware we keep on deck, you know? It's not loaded, don't worry. But this is just in case anybody get fresh, you know? Everybody knows this guy already. My dad of the sports world. This guy's been with me since a kid. Gave me all the tools I got, all the lessons, all the setups, all the techniques, all everything to his right here, man. And I don't need to introduce him. Everybody knows this guy over there. Ladies, he's still single. Get him now. He's young and he rich. He rich. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta do if you're a high level athlete, you make money off this, you invest your money on this, you know. If you're a school teacher, you go buy pencils and sharpen and all that. If you're an athlete, you got that cold tub, you got that sauna, you in here day and night, night and day. I don't really do massages, this is it my whole life. I never really done massages. I just get this right here, it's my, my full session. Hey, County, we're in the building, you know what time it is. April 8th, we're gonna be murder scene. Juice gonna bail me out though, already. He already told me he got the 500 cash, so he's gonna bail me out of anything. <laughs> That's what we live for. All the in this room only know one thing violence and how to get paid off it. Talk about it. Let go. April 8th, more violence.